Hello everyone and welcome back to another Die Cash Review. This one is pretty special because this thing was a SOB to get, I guess you could say. Uh, now, the way you get these cars normally, for retail price anyway, is if you go to the 3 cheat website, uh, obviously you got to be 21 and older to order, and in order to do so, you have to send a photo of your ID just to confirm that you are of age. I'm 20, I cannot do that. So I had to resort to eBay and give in to any scalper I saw, but I tried to go the, jeep the cheapest, the cheapest one I could find, which was actually uh, two in one. It was a, a race win of both wins, or it was a pack of both wins, uh, selling for like, I don't know, 40 something maybe? So I figured instead of paying shipping on two different cars, I'd just get, you know, the one that he was selling for, uh, you know, both of them in one box. Or one package, I guess, in order to just kind of get better shipping, or cheaper shipping, I guess, and actually just kind of get them at once. That way I wouldn't really have to worry about anything. And he had a good rating, so I wasn't really too worried about being scammed or anything. Uh, so yeah, that, that's how I was able to get this car. And if you are underage, like, you know, your boy here, uh, you probably have to do the same thing. So this was not sold from Lionel, it wasn't sold from Circle B, it was not sold from K-State, nobody. Meaning, this is a promo. This is a promotional diecast. Now, I don't really get promos often, uh, just because you have to go to the website. I'm not really, I don't know, I couldn't really care. But this is different. This is a Tyler Reddick, and it was a win, mind you, and it was the only way you can get the wins. I'm trying to collect every waste, uh, waste win, every race win car that I can, uh, so I made a little bit more of an effort in order to get this car. This specifically is the Indy Road Course race win so I think that was, was that wasn't the first one was it I think that was I think the Road America was the first one and the Indy Road Course was the second one I'm not too sure easily it's a 50-50 shot I could easily mix it up uh, but either way I also don't think they made the metal chassis edition because it was a promo so I'm not really uh, too sure on that but nonetheless we're gonna pop this bad boy out of the box and take a closer look at this beautiful car uh, because I really like the paint scheme. It is unfortunate how he had the win in the same paint scheme twice. And it's a dark car, so it's kind of hard to see the race detail. But nonetheless, it's still a cool race win. Here's the die cast out of the box. And you guessed it, it is on a base for obvious reasons. I mean, you know, can't really say I didn't expect it. So, if you're wondering if I will be taking this car off the base, the answer is no, I will not. Reason being... It is simply just collector's purpose. I'm not going to use it in any stop motions. I mean, so I'm just going to keep it as is on the box. That way it doesn't lose any value and it stays just the way I received it. So, of course, we're still going to do the diecast review. This is just going to have the uh, base uh, kind of stuck to it. So, onto the hood here. We do have 3 Chi. Uh, I do have a little bit of race wear on the hood, looks like. And it's kind of dirtied up all around the, uh, the hood louvers. Got a bunch of stars all over the car. If you didn't notice... This is like an American flag paint scheme. So you can see uh, you got the stripes here and of course you got the stars and then of course you got the stripes down the side. So it's like a big American flag that's just kind of like blacked out but it looks really slick. Very nice car. You got the uh, Reddick banner up there of course with the uh, Chevy bow tie. You got the uh, number 8, 3chi.com. We do have a little bit of race wear on the number 8 here. It is going to be hard to see race wear, but hopefully we can see a little more. I uh, got the stripes behind it. 3chi.com, a reddick there on the name banner on the back end. 3chi with some more of those stripes. And then 3chi.com, again on the back end. Camaro Z01. Looks like, I don't know if that's... I can't tell if that's like a bubbling in the... Yeah, it looks like a bubbling in the... Uh, uh, clear coat, not a big deal. Uh, Lakuma there, got the number 8. Then we got a 3 Chi on the side with the uh, gas tank over here on this side because that's just how the race is set up. Looks like we do have some fuel spillage there. Guaranteed rate, we got a gold stripe uh, down the side here. That uh, thin gold stripe, I guess you could say. 3 Chi.com, real tree, pinnacle, got one winner sticker on this side here. I thought it was one, two on one side and one on the other. Uh, so, well, hold on, let me see. Let me see this other race one real quick. This will tell me which one was first and which one wasn't. Okay, so 
it was the Road America that was first, because there's no winter stickers on this one. And then this one here has one winter sticker, meaning that one was the previous race win. So this is actually the second race win, and I probably should have done the first one first. But, you know, it is what it is. Oh, well, you live and you learn, you guess. Uh, Tyler Reddick on the name banner, of course, or the, on the name rail uh, with his logo and the American flag. Got Lucas Oil, uh, Sherman Williams, PTC, and oh, what is that one there? What is that? What, what are you? I can't tell what that bottom one is there. Anyway, 3G, nice and big on the side. Got Cheddars, Lenovo, Habet, MGM, Alsco. Got the number 8. I like how the number 8 is on... Uh, the flag part, or the stars part of the flag. That's pretty neat. A little bit of race bar on the 8. Looks like we got the, uh, this front piece a little pushed up. The Cup Series logo is very close to the wheel well. Got some more stars there. Uh, Goodyear, got a little bit of race wear right here on that front fender. Uh, nothing really going on up front here. Just that open, um, vent there. Or that, yeah, that grill is open. RCR, a little bit of more race wear. Here on the front end, what is that? Why is that like, that feels like it's sticking out a little bit. That's kind of, oh, it was. What? Look at that. It's like, huh, it's like a wrinkle right there. Interesting. Anyway, I got some more rice wear here. I could probably clean that out with my X-Acto knife. Let's go ahead and take care of that. That way we don't have to really worry about it. Let me just kind of take it out. There we go. That's, that should... That should do it. Yeah, we got the number eight there once again. We do have a donut mark down on that uh, side skirt. And they got a little bit more race wear around the winder. The winder. Almost said winder well. That is not what that is. The fender well. Oh, Jesus. Or I was going to say fender well and wheel well. And it came out winder well. That's not. That was not what I was trying to say. Uh, I got the quarter panel here. Uh, it does have some more damage right there as well. So pretty cool car it i like how you are able to see some of the damage i was kind of worried about that because it was a darker car but nonetheless this is a pretty awesome paint scheme so this one was a hard one to pick up but luckily uh, again i did get it on ebay yeah it was a little more steep than i would like it to but i kind of expected that uh, i kind of had to make a little bit of a sacrifice in order to do so uh, but nonetheless we did get this car in the only one i'm missing for the three chi cars is the white one with that uh, gold foil number. That one should be next. I'm going to try to get that one as soon as I can. However, if you are able to get it for retail price or just get it in general, uh, I would definitely rec uh, recommend picking it up while you can. I guarantee you three chi will not hold these cars forever. Uh, so hopefully, uh, you know, maybe they will. Maybe. Uh, but obviously I was not able to get it because I'm not the age of 21 or older. So I had to kind of resort to eBay and get it done that way which is perfectly fine I was actually kind of worried about missing out on these cars I kind of accepted my fate because uh, I figured these are going to be like forty dollars each which you know granted some of it was there was a lot of cars that were like forty dollars per each car so that's that's really what I was worried about I don't care paying twenty for each car but paying anything over maybe thirty and higher for a 164 it's kind of a little much, but this is also coming from the guy that bought a liquid color Bowman for like 70 bucks. So, I guess it just depends, right? You know, maybe. <laughs> no, but anyway. Uh, I do make some exceptions, but I try not to spend anything over $20 uh, on a simple 164. Bowman was an exception, because it was Bowman and it was a liquid color. And there was no way in the world I was finding it for $5 on my Walmart pegs. So... You know, sacrifices, people. Sacrifices. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so this is a, a pretty sweet ride. I do like it. I wish I did the first one first before I did this one, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, we will be reviewing... What, what was this one? What was that one? Uh, the Road America win. We'll be reviewing that here probably not tomorrow, but the day after from how I have my cars lined up. So, I don't know. We'll see if that actually happens. But with that being said... I do believe that will be all for this diecast review. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.